Test. 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 Let us glorify the Lord with the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. A very good morning, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Good morning, Amen. Father. And welcome to this celebration. We have a sanctuary that has been just polished, costing almost 4000 We have new mics. How about us? Are we polished from within? Have, are we enjoying newness of life? Or are we the same old person who is here, habitual, no change, or maybe a little change? My dear sisters and brothers, let us pause for a moment, sincerely searching within and telling the Lord, how unworthy am I to stand before Him even to receive Him and ask Him for pardon and mercy, acknowledging truly that I want to make a change, a desire to be polished by You, a desire to be renewed by You. And so let us stand before Him in repentance and ask Him, saying sorry.
and let us together acknowledge and cry out to him as we say i confess to almighty, to almighty god, god and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words in, in what, what i have done and in what, what i fail to, to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary our virgin, virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy to God in the highest and on earth is to be the Lord we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son. who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
a reading from the Book of Wisdom. That night had been foretold to our ancestors, so that once they saw what kind of oaths they had put their trust in, they would joyfully take courage. This was the expectation of your people, the saving of the virtuous and the ruin of their enemies. For by the same act with which you took vengeance on our foes, you made us glorious by calling us to you. The devout children of worthy men offered sacrifice in secret, and this divine pact they struck with one accord, that the saints would share the same blessings and dangers alike. And forthwith, they had begun to chant the hymns of the fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Only faith can guarantee the blessings that we hope for 
or prove the existence of the realities that at present remain unseen. It was for fate that our ancestors were commended. It was by fate that Abraham obeyed the call to set out for a country that was the inheritance given to him and his descendants, and that he set out without knowing where he was going. By faith, he arrived as a foreigner in the promised land and lived there as if in a strange country with Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. They lived there in tents while he looked forward to a city founded, designed, and built by God. It was equally by faith that Sarah, in spite of being past the age, was made able to conceive because she believed that he who had made the promise would be faithful to it. Because of this, there came from one man and one who was already as good as dead himself, more descendants than could be counted, as many as the stars of heaven or the grains of sand and the seashore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And stand ready, because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at the table and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes, or in the third, but happy those servants if he finds them ready. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Stand ready, 
because the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect be prepared is the call of jesus to all of us dear sisters and brothers <clears throat> when are we ready when are we prepared when you go to work you get ready we all get ready to go to school we get ready not so carefully because this is habitual we go to work every day so we get ready as usual or anything at all <clears throat> most of you travel nowadays the the flights are open assuming tomorrow evening you are going to fly to los angeles set the evening flight or night flight probably tonight you will be very anxious may not have sleepless night or maybe you'll have sleep good sleep but next morning you'll be getting prepared you don't pack your things that afternoon you would have prepared a few days earlier and you ensure that you are at the airport way ahead of time because you wouldn't want to miss the flight <clears throat> and so you are prepared you are ready and uh, you are always careful imagine you are you have arrived at the airport and you realized you have not brought your passport what would happen i remember this happened to me i was uh, taking a flight to indonesia to attend my nephew's wedding and uh, two of my friends one of them is here we went to the airport and uh, at the check in counter the other two friends together my sister and friend went in but i was rejected because you know to be able to travel you need 6 months validity and i had only 4 months <clears throat> and the wedding is the next day afternoon and i had to come back run to putrajaya and it is uh, friday afternoon i had to wait very much of anxiety in me i managed to get the passport done and went back to get a new ticket i lost the money of course the first ticket the new ticket only one more flight left to go to the place when i arrived there the connecting flight is not available because it's already night so i had to bunk in the host in the in the airport next day i managed to catch the earliest flight to arrive there by noon in time for the wedding thanks be to god but i went through this hassle simply because i was careless i was not prepared i was not ready dear sisters and brothers probably you also could be in this scenario at times it may not be a flight it could be many things in our lives and today's gospel tells us to be prepared and to be prepared especially when you want to go to work there must be or school for that matter there must be some discipline in you i cannot say well i can sleep on but you get up there is discipline and discipline is the bridge that connects your present state of life to your dreams to your goals and what is the lord is talking about is not just discipline in our daily life it is to be ready when the lord comes when the master comes that means it is not just material readiness it is spiritual readiness now there was this tree a bird on the higher branch another bird on a lower branch the bird on the lower branch looking up at the bird on the high high higher branch the higher branch bird is telling the one on the lower branch hey come up 
come up and the bird looks at the other one and said no love give me some time and after a while that bird hops to the next branch not yet to the highest branch yet so the bird on top is still telling hey come up come up and hesitatingly finally it hopped to the highest branch and they were there together and at the highest branch they realized that bird realized it is not two birds but just one that is human consciousness that is your consciousness you know at a lower consciousness our tendencies are low we have lower tendencies so this soul is calling you to go to higher level to higher consciousness want you to go up and so it takes and hops to the next level our lower tendencies become higher tendencies what does this mean we humans are very animalistic in our consciousness animalistic in our consciousness but when you rise to the higher consciousness it is no more animalistic consciousness it is divine possibilities there are divine possibilities but dear sisters and brothers we choose to remain at the human consciousness which only leads us to animalistic tendencies that is why for most of us we remain the same but the lord is telling us be prepared you see how prepared are you when you are pursuing a journey how prepared are you when you are pursuing a spiritual journey the journey when you are having a vision you need to plan like recently many people went to st anne's feast they planned you plan to go somewhere your planning is preparedness preparedness lead to planning planning lead to preparedness it is interwoven and so when you plan when you get prepared you need to have discipline self discipline and through self discipline you protect yourself from negativities from all kind of negativities because a person who is disciplined is different from the person who is not disciplined and what is your mind your heart surging for you know when young people are in love oh my god oh you are so enthralled because you forget everything and anything nothing seems real except this one you are in ecstasy dear sisters and brothers when you are in the church you have to be in ecstasy with the divine and you have to return more more and more in ecstasy with the divine but we go back so mundane so human so animalistic in our tendencies why because we have not driven ourselves to the higher level of consciousness and that requires discipline that requires discipline and that means maturity spiritual maturity and so how many of us have developed ourselves our spiritual maturity probably not many of us dear sisters and brothers the lord said in today's gospel very with great clarity be ready when the master is when the master comes keep your lights lit if your lights are not lit probably we are still in the lower consciousness when are we going to rise to our higher consciousness every one of us here so beautiful to be at the church in the church sometimes we are happy with crowds but each individual makes a difference unto yourself yesterday i was we were at the retreat a very good one and i told them the team was saw the heavens like the eagles soaring and i said when you are soaring at a high level your level will go you cannot remain at the lower level you must be elevated in your spiritual level to a higher level and when i said that you must be like an eagle 
not an ostrich not a crow not a chicken and someone afterwards asked me so i said these are all negativities around you limited potentials but your potential as a child of god is above elevated you are supposed to soar the heavens and someone asked me father how uh, if that person the negativity is inside your house that ostrich or the turkey or the crow or chicken is in your house so i said you leave them and you fly i was just joking actually when you are higher than the others you need not have to worry you need not have to worry about them love them pray for them lift them up to the lord pray that he will lift them up like the gospel the many many references in the bible of the eagle lifting them up so dear sisters and brothers let us pray for this grace to be prepared to be ever ready people get worried get prepared only when exams come only when we search for a job only when you want to get married only when some ailment sickness confronts me but how beautiful it would be to be ever ready any time and every time and the lord is always there wanting to embrace you so dear sisters and brothers let us pray for this grace to be able to be prepared to be prepared to be get ready to get ready every single day and how to get ready allow him to work in your life not for a moment every single moment amen I invite you to stand and together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father Almighty, Maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen divine master You are our provider, God of providence. We lift up all our petitions and intentions, both that are going to be read out and those that are in our hearts, Lord. Knowing very well that you are our provider, once again we place them at your feet for your love and mercy. For our Pope, bishops, priests and religious, that they who serve at the altar of the Lord through their devotion to the eucharist be renewed in ministry and strengthened in the spirit to carry out god's work we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer 
for the leaders in our country and all around the world that they will renounce hostility and greed born of the drive for power and lead their nations from self-interest to concern for our common earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our young, that God will put a hedge of protection around them. Continue to put people in their lives who will speak of love and care for them and point them to the hope that comes from God alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray the prayer for the Synod on Synodality. We stand before, before you, you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as we, we gather, gather together, together in your name, with, with you, you alone to guide us. us. Make, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy, you have given them to be offered, and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made and for your forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord, and so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim... You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith your resurrection until you come again. Therefore
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Julian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. We pray for every parishioner of this parish, those who have not realized the preparedness, the urgency, the readiness to come to you, Lord. Those who are unable to recognize this call, those of us who are still taking you for granted and here merely in the body and not connected to you in the spirit, Lord. We surrender all of ourselves into your hands. Have mercy on us all. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with her spouse, Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My dear sisters and brothers, this prayer is a beautiful prayer. Each time we pray, let us recognize the call of God. He is calling us to rise above our nominal, ordinary tendencies to divine possibilities. And so I ask of you, dear sisters and brothers, to pray with that conviction with that readiness as we turn to him and pray in the prayer he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, doubts and fears and hesitations as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, of your church gathered here, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and love of the risen Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us offer each other the sign of peace.
my dear sisters and brothers he is calling us to be ready he will come at a time when we least expect let us always be ready let us look at him with love when we look at him with love we know the sense of urgency so let us come to him with love behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to this living and loving supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed We invite all those watching to make an act of spiritual communion with a spirit of gratefulness, thanking God for his infinite love and sacrifice. With humble and contrite hearts, let us express our desire to invite Jesus into our souls. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
there will be a second collection for the Ministry of Social Concerns. We will pray the Magnificat now.
seated for a while dear sisters and brothers we just sang the magnificat the proclamation of mother mary my soul glorifies the lord am i truly able to say my soul is glorifying the lord my spirit rejoices in him our consciousness is an evolving consciousness it is not stagnant our mind constantly thinks it doesn't stop thinking even right now they ask you to pause for a moment to close your eyes can you stop thinking it is impossible for human mind that is why our lord is telling us to get ready my dear sister my dear brother in order for our souls to glorify the lord we have to elevate our spirits our mind and body elevate to a consciousness where god is within us and much more right now as you have received him in holy communion what is your feeling what do you feel probably we don't feel anything even as you enter the church imagine every single one of us is filled with the energy the positivity the vibrations in this church will be all together different but each one of us seated here we have come here with different dispositions and so our vibrations are all mixed up and so as we return home we go back sometimes with little clarity sometimes no clarity at all each one of us have to strive have to make sincere efforts to want to make a change imagine after this mass you get angry you get restless you get disappointed you get jealous you start talking about the other we fall back every single day that's because we live in that realm he's calling us to different plane readiness my dear sister my dear brother let us be awakened from within often times we are so distracted by the glitters and the attractions and distractions of the world that we cannot concentrate that we cannot go within that we cannot elevate ourselves to a higher consciousness that can only come about with a little silence every single day make effort and where can silence come any time anywhere can be at your workplace can be in your bedroom can be in in your living room and what more in a church in a prayer room before the lord but ask yourself sincerely how much effort you make in wanting to desire, wanting to communicate with him probably nothing at all because we are busy communicating with everyone else except him every single day we are busy we are busy and we are busy why are you in church don't be here to fulfill an obligation that will not save you at all no obligations can save you only connectedness with the divine who is residing inside within you 
don't be dictated be dictated by the drums of the world but by the melody and rhythm of the spirit within you he will elevate you you will fly all praise and glory and thanks be to him thank you lord praise you lord glory for you lord very gently i invite you to stand may the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us o lord and confirm us in the light of your truth through christ our lord amen kindly be seated for a few announcements we welcome visitors new parishioners and students from colleges in the vicinity of saramban please stand so we can welcome you you will receive a prayer card for new parishioners and students kindly register at the parish office or email us at surambanvisitation@gmail.com works on wealth we'll be having a booth at the funeral parlor they had it yesterday and today it will be until 1 pm to promote a great selection of cultural and religious books motivational books fiction and non fiction books and story books says Sir Dotal ordination of Reverend Deacon George Ho of the Carmelite order will be in our church of the visitation on the 13th of August at 10:30 a.m. followed by fellowship all are welcome parish Pastoral Council is organizing a talk on wills the legal perspective of wills on Sunday the 21st of August at 11 a.m. in the church hall why is this important the cost delay and family disputes effects on marriage remarriage divorce conversion on wills and what happens if there is no will effects on spouse parents children adopted and legitimate please make yourself available to get knowledge from this talk we would like to extend our gratitude to the BECs in zone 16 1 2 and 3 for animating mass in this month of July we thank you just two more announcements one is we welcome all ministries and BEC heads to submit the names of your new office bearers to the parish office by the end of this month some ministries have had your elections and office bearers new office bearers are there and also some bcs for those bcs who have not kindly contact the bc uh, coordinator mr nathan and we will come and visit you last week i went to visit one bc where they are struggling to to come out with new office bearers and uh, we also want to upload this in our website so any ministry will know okay who are the people we have to contact 
you know, for RE, for family life and so on and so forth. <coughs> the problem is, some BCs when we go, they say, hey, it's the same person can continue, la, can continue. Some pain, same person 10 years, 15 years, not because the person is very good, because I am not interested, because I am lazy. If you want to elevate this parish, not just polishing the floor and making things beautiful here, every single person who is called to elevate yourself, and don't pass the buck to somebody else. We will always tell others, you know, they all do, huh? you very good, you very good. You are very good, continue, continue. Because I cannot dirty myself. Sometimes, you know, some ministries, people in the heads in the parish, your children are not to be seen around. But we ask everybody else to come. Those of you in the ministries, please also check yourselves and your family members. We tell others to go, but we don't send our children. My children must be busy with everything else, but not the church. So, dear sisters and brothers, please wake up. Not just elevating the, the, the parish boundaries and parish uh, environment, but every one of us. This parish is yours. Many young people don't come. After confirmation, they disappear. And do I have to beg you to come? You must come and say, Father, I want to give myself in whichever way possible for this parish to the service of the people of the parish. And we don't tell others. We tell, sorry, we tell others, but we don't tell ourselves. So please take note, ministry leaders and parishioners at large, elevate yourselves. Come. My office is always open when I'm there. I've never sent anybody away. Young people, I told the confirmation students, come, two, three of you. Some people, father means they are afraid to come and see father. Please come, we have a chat, have a coffee, no problem. I'm here for everyone and anyone. If you choose not to come, that is not my problem. That is your problem. But I welcome everyone and anyone. Some people complain, I cannot see the father, very difficult. Why I ask you to make appointments, not because I am a king. When you come, you have to wait. Somebody is in the office. The other is somebody come and grumbled. Are you waiting for father half an hour? Why father must only see one person for 15 minutes? Why is he so long? He did not come with an appointment. So the reason why I ask you to make appointment is for your sake. So that you needn't have to wait. Not for my sake. So please understand. To see the Agong make appointments for other reasons. For me, no need. If you come and nobody is in the office, you knock, you tell Natasha or Colleen and you just walk in. Please, I'm here for you. So parishioners, please come. We welcome you. And sometimes you say, oh, you are unwelcoming, unwelcoming priest, unwelcoming parish. But when the priest is welcoming, you don't come. It's a paradox, irony, isn't it? This is the situation of our people. You know why? We are slumbered. We are unconscious. Wake up. Come to consciousness. The second thing I would like to bring to your attention, just now, three people came for Holy Communion. They didn't say Amen, and I realized they're Anglicans. All you parishioners, I will also tell the, the Communion Extraordinary Ministers, not to give Communion when you don't say Amen. Many of you, so difficult to say Amen. I have to say Body of Christ to hundreds of people. You're so tired, ah, huh? Amen, ah, very difficult. What is so difficult? Amen, telling so difficult. You are telling, yes, Lord, amen. And so the other point is, don't come with both hands like this. Which hand to give? And don't pick up like a butterfly. You are taking, not taking butterfly, please. Huh? The body of Christ with respect and reverence. Come with reverence, the King of Kings. So dear sisters and brothers, all this you have to be educated. You have to be reminded, never mind, I will do that. So please come, those of you who don't know how to say Amen, you, when, you, when the priest says body of Christ, as a Catholic, you must know how to say Amen. And don't mumble, Amen. See, there are others who are coming, especially for funerals. And even weddings, there are people of other religion come in and they come to receive communion. And lucky most of the time, I am very alert. I stop them. Somehow or other, I realize they are not Catholics. 
You Catholics do the same. How can we know? What is coming of us? What is coming of you? So please, come with reverence. Open your mouth and say, even with the mask on, you, I can hear you. If the music is going on, I can still hear you if you say it loudly. So please take note. I just want to alert you on all these things so that you will do it well to glorify God so that your soul may be able to say, my soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in the Lord. And let's stand now. One more announcement, Father. Um, the Visitation English Youth would like to call all single young people aged 15 and 35 to come together for a gathering on the 27th of August at 7.30 p.m. at the Visitation Hall. To register, please contact Sabrina. Thank you, Father. See the picture there? Joy! The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Apa lagi, joget lah dalam hati. Let's start the music. <laughs>